Hello, everyone. Um, today, I'm going to discuss to you the K-50 plan of Kaiser International. So this is the ultimate Kaiser health builder. So the K-50 plan is for age 10 to 40 years old. Ito po ang next lowest plan para sa mga age 10 to 40 years old. Okay, so first and foremost, I want to introduce myself. I am May Angela Chodoro, one of the Executive Marketing Director in International Marketing Group, a licensed associate financial planner, six years as financial educator and coach, an entrepreneur and investor. Yeah. So you can also add me in Facebook. Uh, search nyo lang po ang aking pangalan. That's me, Angela Chodoro. And of course, please do like and subscribe to my channel. Ayan. So, sino nga ba si Kaiser? All right? Kaiser is duly accredited with the Department of Health. That is the DOH. This company is likewise registered with the Securities and Exchange Commission, the SEC, on June 8, 2004, as a healthcare provider with an authorized capital stock of 116 million. So, uh, that was last June 8. 2004. So right now, we are already 2022. So syempre po, mas malaki na ang ating um, capital stock. All right. So bakit si Kaiser ay registered with the Securities and Exchange Commission? Dahil po ang Kaiser ay may kasamang investment. So of course, kapag mga investment companies, all right, dapat po ay regulated yan ng SEC. All right. So if you want to check yung ating registration sa SEC or sa Securities and Exchange Commission, punta lang po kayo sa website ng SEC and then look for the um, Kaiser Medical Center Inc., the Kaiser Medical Clinic Inc., and of course, the Kaiser International Health Group Inc. Alright. And kung gusto nyo rin pong uh, makita, alright, register din po tayo sa Insurance Commission. Okay, so you can check sa ating website, sa Insurance Commission. You can find Kaiser International Health Group. Ayan, with the license number HMO 2017-04-R. Alright, so pwede nyo po yan i-check. That is, uh, those uh, things are for the legalities of the company. Ayan. Kaiser International Health Group Inc. is the healthcare provider of Supreme Court, the House of Representatives, and the DAR. So, yan po ang ating mga um, government um, offices na kinuha nila si Kaiser as the their healthcare provider. Ayan. So, Sharon Coneta Pangilinan is the ambassadress of Kaiser Healthcare. Ayan. Sabi ni Amy Sharon, kahit maputi na ang buhok mo, may Kaiser para sa'yo. Ayan. Of course, ang lahat naman po tayo tatanda and it's better na habang bata pa tayo, no, we prepare for our healthcare needs kapag tumanda na tayo. Alright? Ayan. You should consider your, your healthcare and protection as a priority. Bakit nga ba kailangan po maging priority natin ang healthcare? Okay? Ayan. Of course, di ba, mahilig naman tayo mag-save, even if you save a few hundred pesos a month but have no healthcare and life insurance, it will not take you far, di ba? Kahit mag-ipon tayo ng mag-ipon, kapag wala po tayong health, healthcare and life insurance, pwede pong maubos agad ang ating ipon kapag nagkasakit tayo. So when you get sick, disabled, or die suddenly, your savings won't last very long. Ayan. Kaya kailangan po um, pinaprioritize natin ang ating healthcare and life insurance. So getting a long-term healthcare and life insurance are the best investment. Yan talaga po ang uh, pinaka-best investment na dapat meron tayong lahat. Alright? So... Kung titignan natin, no, this is how you are going to build your finances. So, healthcare fund, dapat meron ka niyan, nasa foundation yan. The life insurance, yan, and investment nasa taas. Okay? Yan. So, Kaiser Ultimate uh, Health Builder, this is a 7 years to 20 years uh, maturity plan. Alright? So, 7 years po siyang binabayaran. And then, 20 years po ang ating waiting period para mag-mature ang ating plan. 
Okay, so I'm going to discuss to you the uh, phase one. This is during the accumulation or the saving period. This is the first to seventh year. Okay, so dito sa plan na ito, all right, um, sa K50 plan, you will be getting the annual physical exam. This is to be administered by an, an accredited clinic. The, AP, the APE coverage is the basic five. You can uh, do the physical examination, chest x-ray, the routine fecalysis, routine urinalysis, complete blood count, the ECG for members above 35 and pap smear for female members above 35 years old as required. Okay, so ang ating um, ECG po is for age 35 years old and above and also the pap smear, okay, sa mga babae. So note na ang annual physical exam po natin, okay, ay magagamit after one year na nagbabayad tayo ng Kaiser. So this is um, free. Free po ito na binibigay ni Kaiser sa loob ng seven years, but it can be used after one year na nagbabayad tayo. Well, uh, we do have a consideration for OFWs. All right? Sa ating mga OFW, uh, kahit hindi ka pa isang taong nagbabayad, kapag umuwi ka ng Pilipinas, um, nagbakasyon ka, kahit two months ka pa lang nagbabayad, Alright? So, pwede mo na po magamit ang ating annual physical exam. So, Kaiser is very considerate sa ating mga OFW dahil minsan lang po sila umuwi. Minsan nga, hindi pa, no? So, most of our OFWs, they go home for vacation uh, mga once a year or sometimes hindi pa. Kaya, uh, kinukonsider ni Kaiser na magamit nila agad ang APE kapag nagbakasyon sila. Alright. The, the second one is the dental benefits, unlimited dental checkups, unlimited simple tooth extraction, the once a year pre-dental prophylaxis, recementation of jacket, crowns, inlays, onlays, and minor adjustment of dentures. So ito din po ay magagamit natin after one year na nagbabayad tayo. All right? Ayan. The basic health benefits, the accredited physician's fee, specialist fee, surgeon's fee, anesthesiologist fee, and the operating room and hospital intensive care. Number four, member's choice of room and board up to 700 a day. So dito sa K50 plan, um, meron kang 700 a day para sa room and board. All right? And then the yearly hospital benefit limit of 50,000 per year after full payment of the first year of total premium. So, uh, may limit po tayo sa loob ng 7 years na 50,000 every year. Okay? Pero magagamit natin po ito after 1 year ng pagbabayad natin. So, take note that pre-existing illness is not covered for 7 years, but on the 8th year, all illness is covered whether it is declared or not. So, yung mga pre-existing illness po natin, like for example, hypertension, diabetes, ayan. So, hindi po yan cover sa loob ng 7 years. Okay? Pero, on the 8th year po, lahat na ng sakit is covered. Alright? Yan. So, titignan natin to, no? 10 years old, saving period, and then uh, 20 years, no? This is the one to one to seven years ka magbabayad and then um, 20 years is the maturity. So we are going to talk about the term life, the life insurance coverage of the K-50 plan. So the term life from accumulation until the 20th year, okay? And then accidental death and dismemberment, dismemberment from accumulation until the 20th year. So ito po ang inclu included na insurance benefit Dito sa ating plan. Okay. So you are covered for 20 years until the until age of 75. So meaning, covered po kayo nito ng 20 years. Okay. And then after 20 years, you have um, a choice uh, na pwede nyong i-extend po ito hanggang the age of 75. Alright. So the long-term care benefit, magkano po ba ang makukuha ng ating beneficiary? kapag tayo ay kinuha ni Lord. So, this is the life insurance. No? Life insurance na to. So, ang mangyayari nito, kapag namatay si plan holder, wag naman sana agad-agad. Alright? So, ang beneficiary natin ay makaka-receive ng um, certain amount. So, dito sa uh, plan K50, 
Okay, ang marireceive ng iyong beneficiary kapag ikaw ay kinuha ni Lord and the cost is natural debt is 225,000. Okay, yan po ang makukuha ng iyong beneficiary. Okay, kapag naman ang cost ng iyong pagkamatay ay accident, accidente or the accidental death, alright, ang marireceive ng iyong beneficiary is 450,000. Okay. Ayan. So, syempre, mas uh, napakaganda no, na, that um, the plan have the life insurance coverage para syempre hindi naman natin alam kung anong mangyayari sa atin for the next couple of years at least uh, mawala man tayo ay may, may maiiwan tayo sa ating mga uh, mahal sa buhay especially kapag may mga anak tayo. Alright. So, accidental death and dismemberment. So, should the members suffer directly and independently of all other causes, any bodily injury affected solely through external, violent, and accidental mean occurring prior to the member's 75th birthday and prior to the entitlement to the long care benefit, which result in any of the specified losses within 180 days after the accident, causing the injury, the insurance company will pay the following. So in short, kapag po na-accidente kayo, alright, and um, dun sa pagka-accidente ninyo ay nawalan kayo ng both hands, alright, uh, the company is going to compensate you 100%, okay, yung sa accidental death. The loss of both feet, nawalan ka po ng uh, dalawang paa, the loss of one hand and one, one side, Yan. So, na, nawalan ka ng isang kamay at isang mata, uh, di na nakakita. Loss of one foot and sight of one eye. The loss of both sides. So, nabulag ka na talaga. And the loss of one hand and one foot. So, kapag um, dito po sa ating mga combination, ayan, combination na nawalan ka ng aparte ng iyong katawan. So, 100% po ang compensate sa inyo na um, company. Alright, ayan. So, of course, this is one of the question na lagi po nating um, na-encounter. So, marami ang nagtatanong, ano po ba ang, kumbaga, meron po bang, mag, um, or pwede po ba magamit ng aking beneficiary, ang Kaiser? Alright, so, um, always remember that Kaiser is an individual plan, meaning, um, tayo lang po ang pwedeng gumamit nito. Like, for example, I am the policy holder, so, dapat ako lang talaga ang gagamit. All right. But um, Kaiser is um, very generous naman. Meron tayong family assistance service. Okay. But of course, hindi naman lahat ng ating benefits ay pwede nilang magamit. So that's why it's called a family assistance. All right. Policy should be in active status and plan should have completed at least one year of one year payment. So if you are going to avail the family assistance, dapat po naka-active status ang ating um, Kaiser plan. The nominated patient must be in an immediate family member of the policyholder or within the first degree of consanguinity. So dapat po, ang, ang gagamit ng family assistance is yung nilagay niyo sa beneficiary. Okay, the policyholder agrees to avail only the services of Kaiser's accredited doctors and affiliated network of hospitals. So syempre, ang pwede lang nilang magamit is... Um, dun sa ating mga accredited doctors and hospitals and of course kung ano ang nasa policy natin okay so one example of the family assistance that um our beneficiary can use is for example no dito sa Pilipinas dito sa atin if mau hospital ka di ba mostly nihingi po yan ng down payment okay uh, through the family assistance pwede po ma hospital ma hospital or ma, -ma admit ang iyong family member na hindi po kayo magbibigay ng down payment using the family assistance service ng Kaiser. But first of all, um, kapag po naipasok sa uh, hospital ang inyong uh, family, for example, kailangan nyo po agad tumawag sa Kaiser that you are going to use the family assistance because this is subject for approval. No? Hindi naman lahat po ay na-approve. Kasi for example, ang family member mo is age 60, 60 years old na. Pero ang kinuha mong plan is the K45 or the lowest plan. And it can be used by 10 to 40 years old. So that uh, that age na, gagamit, na paggagamitan, hindi na po siya eligible kumbaga. Alright? So that's the reason why it is subject for 
approval. And of course po, pag ginamit natin ang family assistance, di ba, um, ang pwede, for example, dun sa hindi magda-down, pag lalabas na po ng hospital, you need to pay all the the bills. Ayan. So that is one sample of the family assistance po. All right, the assistance to be provided by Kaiser shall only be to the extent of the allowable benefits due to the member under his policy. Yun nga yung sinabi ko kaninang example, no? Like for example, ang gagamit is uh, around 60 years old, but yung kinuha mong plan is for 10, uh, 10 to 40 years old only. So hindi po pwedeng magamit ang family assistance. All right, prior to discharge of the nominated patient, um, Payment should have been settled to Kaiser. So, dapat po, paglalabas na, settled na po ang ating babayara, yung bayarin. Ayan. So, Kaiser's approval to avail of such assistance must first be obtained by the member and the issuance of law will then be given. So, that's why it is subject for approval. Please note that this assistance is an accommodation and not considered a benefit of the plan. Hence, approval and denial on the ailment solely depends on Kaiser management evaluation. The phase two. So this is the extended period. Ano na po ba ang mangyayari sa ating Kaiser after natin magbayad ng one to seven years? Diba? Seven years po siyang binabayaran. What will happen to our plan on the eighth to twentieth year? Okay. So, ang maganda, no? Even on the 8th and 20th year, di ba, covered pa rin tayo ng healthcare and ng insurance. So, at least, uh, the Kaiser Funds allocation, at least 51% of, of payments made by plan holders automatically goes to a trust fund as required by government. Kaiser can attach this trust fund. It is reserved for the future claims by the plan holders. Kaiser trust funds are managed by two international banks. It is the ING Bank, the Netherlands, the and Dutch Bank, so Germany. And the remaining 49% goes to investment, portion of which is managed by Soldebo funds. Okay. So, Tingin po tayo dito sa extended period. Alright? So, on the, this is on the 8th to 20th year. Assuming na um, nag-start ang policy holder at the age of 10 years old. So, ang 20 years niyan, 30 years old siya. Okay? So, dito, the 10% yearly health benefits is around 5,000. Kasi nga, we do have the long-term care bonus na 50,000. So, ang 10% yearly benefits niyan is and as it's around 5,000 per uh, per year. Okay. So, ito pong 5,000 per year is nag-accumulate to every year, no? And nag interest Ayan. So, calculating the projected value hanggang 20 years nito na yearly health benefits is around 134,875. Okay, so meron din po tayong yearly health bonus. And ito pong yearly health bonus, ito po yung mga unused health benefits natin, na yung mga hindi natin nagagamit. Of course, ini-invest po yan ni Kaiser. And uh, nag-gain po ito ng interest. So the projected value nito on the 20th year is around 223,209. Alright? And um, yung long-term care benefit natin, yung 50,000. So kasama din po 'yan na mahuhukuhan natin sa maturity age. Okay. Ito naman pong long-term care bonus. Okay. Kapag for uh, 1 to 7 years habang nagbabayad kayo, wala po kayong claim or hindi kayo na hospital. Okay? Kaiser is going to give us the long-term care bonus. This is almost 85% po ng binayad natin. So na napakaganda na nag start po kayo ng mga ganitong investment while you are young na wala pa tayong sakit. Kasi syempre kapag, for example, um, hindi ka nagkasakit, no, napakaganda na halos makakabalik yung almost 85% na binayad natin kay Kaiser upon maturity. Kapag kinalculate ninyo, if you do the math, parang um, kung ibabalik natin ang almost 85% no, ng binayad sa atin ni Kaiser, is parang ang binayad lang natin kay Kaiser is 15% and we are covered na ng healthcare, covered ka pa ng insurance, and tumubo pa yung pera mo. 
So, napakaganda po ng plan na ito. All right. So, the total maturity value on the 20th year, okay? So, it will be around 583,084. Ito po yung total maturity value natin. This is projected value. Projected meaning, it is not guaranteed. Kasi nga, syempre, yung pera natin is naka-invest po yan sa um, soldable, soldable funds. It is under the indirect investing sa stock market. So, syempre, magdidepende pa rin doon. But this is project, this projected value, pwede po talaga itong ma-reach. Okay? Depende po, ta well, pwedeng mas mataas o pwedeng mas mababa. Depende po sa performance sa stock market. So, sa yung sa investment side natin. Alright? Ayan. So, the phase 3 is the long-term care period. This is the 21st year onwards. So, ano pa po ang pwedeng mangyari sa pera natin? Okay, or sa Kaiser uh, policy natin. Kapag uh, nag uh, lumagpas na yung maturity, ano ba ang pwede ninyong gawin? Alright? Okay. So remember, no? Ito yung, uh, this is the projection. Um, Nag-start, dito sa ating presentation, nag-start ang policy holder ng 10 years old. And then, nag-mature ang kanyang plan. Oh, pag 30 years old niya. Okay? So, ito po ulit ang ating maturity value. It is around 583,084. Kapag hindi po ninyo yan kinuha, uh, kinuha no? we have the options. Ito. So, ito po ang ating options kapag nag-mature ang plan. Plan ninyo. Alright? You have the continued health benefits with term life insurance. So, pwede nyo pong i-continue ang health benefits ninyo na may kasama pang term life insurance. Of course, hindi niyo po yan kukunin. Okay? The second one is the continued health benefits with yearly increment or annual withdrawal of the yearly increment earned. Hindi niyo po ito withdrawin. Okay? Meaning, kukunin niyo lang po ang interest rate niya every year. So, pwede pong yun ang second choice niyo. Your third choice is the partial withdrawal up to 50% of the total health benefits. So, Ang gagawin nyo, kukunin nyo po ang kalahati, iiwanan nyo ang kalahati, continuous pa rin po ang inyong um, healthcare benefits. Kung magka-covered pa rin kayo ng um, healthcare as long as may pondo ang inyong Kaiser plan. Alright? So, of course, dito po sa ating third choice, um, healthcare coverage na lang po ito kasi kinuha nyo yung kalahati, wala na po itong kasamang insurance benefit. And the fourth one is the full withdrawal of the total health benefits. So ang gusto sabihin, kukunin nyo po itong lahat. So of course, kapag kinuha nyo lahat itong um, maturity value na around 583,000, so wala na po kayong Pfizer, wala na po kayong coverage. Okay? Ayan. So the long-term care period, ayan. so ito po yung sinasabi mo kanina, no? that um, you have the choice when yung kunin yung 10% every year. So kung for example, ito po talaga yung um, maturity value natin, so you can get the 58,308 every year. All right. So at the age yung di ba kanina mention, uh, mentioning na 10 years old siya nag-start, itong policy holder natin, 30 years old nag-mature yung kanyang uh, plan. Okay, kapag ang ginawa niya po ay hindi niya kinuha ang kanyang maturity value, so syempre nag interest lang yan every year, at the age of 60 po, ang projected value ng kanyang Kaiser plan is around 10,174,471. So kapag naman nag-65 na siya, at for example talagang malakas siya at hindi siya nagkakasakit, ang projected value ng kanyang Kaiser plan is around 16,386,087. And at the age of 80, the projected value is around 68,448,752. So napahaganda po na um, ng Kaiser plan, especially sa ating mga anak. No? If you have children, yan, consider getting getting them um, a Kaiser plan. Kasi napakaganda na ganito po ang may iwan natin sa kanila. Take note that all figures is starting from maturity value or projected amount. So uh, all these figures po na sinasabi ko are projected value. So hindi po yan guaranteed. Pero kaya po yan maabot. 
Okay? So, pwedeng mas mataas, pwedeng mas mababa. And then, depende pa rin po sa performance ng investment natin sa MIGO funds. But history already proven na pwedeng po maabot itong mga projected value through the long-term investment sa mutual fund. Note that the policyholders starts at the age of 10 years old. Okay? The investment growth varies from the time you started. Siyempre, um, kung nag-start ka po ng 30 years old, 40 years old, hindi po ganito ang figures na uh, nasa long-term care, care benefit at the age of 60 mo. So, nagbavary yan. Of course, depende yan kung kailan ka nag-start. Kapag mag, mas maaga ka nagsimula, mas malaki ang growth ng pera sa investment side. That's why um, lagi natin naririnig, no? Time is money. Alright. So, to recap, okay, this is the K50 plan. With a contract price of 205875 and the paying period is 7 years. Okay, maturity uh, period natin is after 20 years. Okay, so this plan is nag-start po siya at the age of 10. Okay, the long-term care benefit natin is 50000 This is included also um, sa, na makukuha natin sa maturity period. Okay? The term insurance kapag po kinuha kayo ni Lord, ang marireceive po ng iyong beneficiary, okay, is around 225,000. Kapag naman po ang cost is accident, ang marireceive po ng iyong beneficiary is around 450,000. Okay? We do have the annual physical exam and dental benefit. This is free for 7 years. But pero magagamit po ito after one year. And then the annual benefit limit, this is the inpatient benefit. May limit po tayo ng 50,000 every year. All right. We also have the room and board benefit, 700 pesos per day. Okay. So maturity amount at the age of 30. Ayan, ito po ang uh, projected value na mahukuha ng ating policyholder. This is a 583,084. Okay. At the age of 60, ang um, Value niya is nasa around 10,174,471. Ayan. So ito po yung uh, mga projected value sa investment side. All right. And then let's go to the uh, payment. Ayan. The mode of payment. What if gusto mong kumuha ng Kaiser? Paano ba ang pagbabayad nito? Okay? Ano ba ang mga choices ko? Uh, choices mo? All right. So, pwede ka po mag-monthly installment. Sa plan na ito, ang monthly payment niya is 2,941. All right? And then, kung gusto niyo po ay quarterly, this is every three months. So, 8,529. Yeah. You can also choose the semi-annual. So, this is every six months. So, magkano siya? 15,882. Ang kinagahandahan po ng semi-annual payment is may free ito na one month every year. Okay. And then, the annual payment, um, which is 29,411. Okay. Sa so annual payment naman, ang kinagandahan naman ito is may free ito na two months every year. So if you are going to do the calculation, parang free ang one year mo, no? Sa loob ng 7 years. So maganda po ang annual installment. Pero syempre, if you don't have um, enough money pa right now, you start with monthly. Okay? Pwede naman kasi tayo magpa-upgrade ng mode of payment. And of course, kung uh, medyo nakakaluwag-luwag tayo, Ayan, meron tayong enough money, you can do the spot cash price. So, ang spot cash is around 188,100. So, ito po ay one-time one time payment o wala ka nang aalalahanin pa. Of course, uh, mas malaki po ang discount dito. Okay? And um, take note, we do have a policy fee of 500 per year for 7 years. So, every year po, itong policy fee ay nag a sa ating um, bayarin. Alright? Sa ating due. Okay? So, if you are going to calculate our policy fee for 7 years is that's 3,500. So, expect nyo na po na, like for example natapos na kayo magbayad ng 1 year, may mag a po na 500. Or sa pinakauna, and sa pinakaunang payment ninyo, okay, for example, nagustuhan nyo itong K50 plan, kukuha kayo, instead of 2,000 941, ang babayaran nyo, ang pinakaunang babayaran nyo is plus 500. Okay? Ayan. 
So, ito po ang ating mga mode of payment. So, upgrading mode of payment. Yun nga na-mention ko kanina. Diba? If you don't have enough money right now, kasi syempre maganda yung may mga discount, you can start with monthly. Then, kapag nagkaroon na, na kayo ng enough money, you can always upgrade the mode of payment. Okay? So, the mode of pay payment, ayan, if within 30 days after uh, purchase, filled out, meron tayong amendment form. Kailangan nyo po yan i-fill out. Okay? And then, um, payment of additional installment due corresponding to the amount of the updated mode of payment. If beyond 30 days after purchase, filled out amendment form. Yan. So may processing fee tayo na 300 pesos. So pwede po tayo magpa-upgrade ng payment from monthly to annual or monthly to semi-annual. Pwede po ganun. Pero wala po tayong tinatawag na downgrading of uh, mode of payment. So, for example, annual na po ang pinili ninyo, hindi na po kayo pwede bumalik sa monthly payment. Okay? So, wala po tayong downgrading. Meron lang po tayo ay upgrading. Okay. The grace period. So, um, lagi po itong tinatanong, no? Kapag po ba nag-due date na ho, pwede pa po bang lumagpas na bayaran ko yung, yung aking due date? Yes po, pwede pa naman um, bago po siya maging inactive or lapse. Okay? Meron tayong grace period. So, if payment is made after the grace period, the contract shall be considered lapse. Meaning, kapag po dumagpas kayo sa grace period, maglalapse po ang inyong plan or magiging inactive. Alright? However, the owner shall be given a grace period of 30 days. So, meron po kayong 30 days. Okay? Para bayaran yung June ninyo. Okay? So, ganyan. Alright. So, meaning, for example, ang due date mo is sabihin natin January 30, meron ka pong another 30 days hanggang February 30 para bayaran po yung due date mo nung January. Okay? Kapag lumagpas po yan doon, meaning, lapse ang iyong plan. At kapag naglapse ang iyong plan, ano po ang pwedeng mangyari? Inactive po ang inyong plan. So, kapag may nangyari sa inyo, wala pong claims. Okay? So, pwede naman po natin ipa-active ulit ang ating plan. So, that's why we have the reinstatement. Okay? Okay. So, pag reinstate po tayo, meron tayong two, two choices. The update and the redate. Ang update po, for example, um, naglapse ang iyong plan ng two months. Hindi ka nakapagbayad, nakapagbayad ng January and February. So, sa update, meaning... Pag nag-update kayo, babayaran niyo po yung January and February. Okay? Yung na-miss ninyong months. But of course, kapag update ang pinili ninyo, uh, expect po na may surcharge yan. Okay? The surcharge is 1.5% per month. Okay? Or 8% per annum. Okay? So, ganyan po ang updating. Pero kapag redate, this is your second choice. Okay? May redate tayo. Member will only pay the premium for the month but the maturity period will move. So, for example, na-miss ninyo is January, February, March and mag -re instate kayo ng March. Okay? Hindi nyo na po babayaran ang January and February. Ang babayaran nyo lang is yung March. This is what we call the redate. Pero syempre, yung uh, maturity period mo is mamumove din ng 2 months. Okay? So, ganun lang po siya. That is the redate. And of course, kapag nag-reinstate tayo, meron po tayo na fee, 300 pesos. Yan. Yan. Ang kinagandahan din po ng ating reinstatement, for example, isang taon ang nakalipas, hindi ka pa rin po nagpapareinstate, hindi pa po mawawala ang lahat ng binayad mo kay Kaiser or hindi pa siya mapo-forfeit. Kaiser is giving us two years. Yan. Can be done with, within two years of the first unpaid due date. So sa loob ng two years po, pwede ka mag reinstate ng iyong Kaiser plan. But of course, kapag lumagpas po yan ng two years, please do expect na na-forfeit na lahat ng binayad mo. Okay? The member shall be considered a new applicant subject to pre-existing conditions and for purposes of contestability of insurance, coverage, and to any other requirements for a new applicant for membership in effect at that time. Kaiser will cancel the contract without need of notice to the owner if he fails to reinstate within the prescribed period. So, hindi po magno-notice sa inyo si Kaiser na two years na po. 
at forfeited na ang inyong bayad. Ayan. So, dapat po, alam ninyo and aware kayo ng kailan kayo nag-start ng kaisyon ninyo at kailan po, for example, nag-lapse. Alright? Para hindi po masayang ang ating mga binayad. All reinstated plans shall be subjected to the new price. Ayan. Kung nagbago po, for example, ang price ni Kaiser, so kapag nagpa-reinstate tayo, okay, so doon na po tayo, of course, mag uh, susunod sa subjected na new price. Okay? Ayan. So, PhilHealth. PhilHealth is uh, integrated with Kaiser. Okay? Even sa lahat naman po ng healthcare dito sa Pilipinas, yung mga healthcare providers, okay? So, PhilHealth po, is, yan po talaga ang unang inaalis sa bill. Kahit saan na hospital tayo pumunta, alright? Once admitted, you will be advised to file your PhilHealth reimbursement form. The PhilHealth reimbursement due shall be deducted from the total hospital bills. So, parang uh, this one, uh, lahat po talaga na kahit saan ang hospital ka, ang una naman talaga ang binabawas is yung sa PhilHealth. Of course, if you don't have PhilHealth, okay, so ikaw, tayo po ang magsushoulder niyan. Kung yung binabayarin ni PhilHealth, tayo ang magsushoulder. So, mas maganda na may PhilHealth din po kayo. Kaiser policyholders without PhilHealth membership shall shoulder and pay the corresponding portion of PhilHealth. Okay? Ayan. So, healthcare value. So, ito po ang isa sa mga tanong na lagi kong na-encounter. Well, for example, ayaw ko na po ng mag-Kaiser. Hindi ko na kaya magbayad. Pero mababawi ko pa ba yung mga binayad ko? Alright. So, this is the healthcare value. The owner may surrender the contract for its cash value. Stated in the schedule of benefits, provided the plan is active for at least a year. So, pwede niyo po isurrender ang inyong Kaiser plan kapag hindi nyo na kaya or ayaw nyo na. May makukuha po kayong cash value. Okay. Always remember na sa mga ganitong insurance companies po, hindi lahat ng ating mga binayad ay nakukuha natin kapag sinurrender natin ang plan. Okay? So, may makukuha tayo pero very minimal. So, konti lang po siya. So, ako po as a financial advisor, hindi talaga ako nag-a-advise na mag-surrender kayo ng plan. Okay? Kasi napaka-konti nang nakukuha natin and um, kumbaga, doon tayo malulungki. Okay? So, better i-continue na lang po ang plan, plan or if hindi kaya for now, mag-reinstate na lang. Okay? So, ganun po ang gamin niya. Ayan. So, transferability of Kaiser Ultimate Health Builder. So, pwede po ba na i-transfer ang Kaiser? Yes po. Pwede po yan. Okay? As long as ang Kaiser po, uh, matatransfer lang natin sa ating nakalista na beneficiary. Pero kapag wala po sa lista ng beneficiary, hindi po natin yan matatransfer sa ibang tao. Okay? Hindi rin po pwede si Kaiser ipagbili. Ayan. So, uh, cannot be sold, assigned, or transferred to any third party nor payment of membership fee be assumed by said third party. So, hindi po natin yan pwede i-transfer or ibenta sa iba. Only pwede natin yan ma-transfer sa ating nakalista na beneficiaries. Okay? Ayan. So, once po bayad na tayo ng Kaiser, ayan. So, for example, no, nagustuhan niyo po kumuha ng Kaiser, syempre, once po approved na ang inyong plan, magkakaroon kayo ng sarili niyong um, Kaiser online portal sa, in, sa Kaiser website. So, dyan po nakarecord ang inyong mga bayad, ang ating policy, nandyan po. Ayan, nandyan din po sa loob ang ating benefit card. Okay, so... Most of the things that you need, nasa loob na, na po yan ng ating online portal. And of course, um, kapag natapos nyo na po bayaran ang um, 7 years, you will be receiving the certificate of full payment. And makakaroon kayo ng Kaiser Visa card. Ayan. So this is my certificate of full payment. Ayan. So right now, I'm waiting na lang for the maturity. Ayan. So... Uh, the Solid uh, Financial Foundation, no, Kaiser answers our three major financial needs during productive years and retirement years. Ayan. Kung titignan natin, this is the Solid Financial Foundation. Uh, we have to start from the ground or the foundation. Ayan. So nan, makikita po natin that healthcare fund is nasa pundasyon po yan. Right? And the next one is the life insurance. Okay. And of course... 
uh, nasa taas ang investment. Okay, kung titignan natin, si Kaiser is meron po nito. We do have the healthcare fund, the life insurance, and the investment. So, for you to have a solid financial foundation, dapat may ganito po kayo na structure. Okay? You, you must have your healthcare fund para kapag nagkasakit ka, of course, hindi po agad mauubos ang inyong investment or ang inyong ipon. Especially kung ang ipon ninyong yan is for your retirement. Okay? The life insurance, this is very important. Kasi kung right now, nag start ka palang mag-ipon, paano kung bigla ka pong kinuha ni Lord? So, kung paano, ano ang mangyayari sa ating, uh, sa mga umaasa sa atin, especially if we do have children. Okay? Ayan. And of course, the investment. Napaka-importante din po na may investment tayo. Kasi syempre, uh, isang araw magre-retire tayo sa pagtatrabaho. Of course, once you retire, wala na, wala na po tayong active income. So kapag wala ka ng active income, paano po ang ating panggasto sa araw-araw? Especially kapag matanda na, talagang lumalabas na ang mga sakit. So baka may maintenance ka pa sa um, inyong sakit, di ba? Ayan. So this is very important na matutunan po natin. Alright. So Kaiser, ayan. ito po ang ating mga existing Kaiser Medical Center. So we do have already 10, no? na mga existing medical center. So, you can visit naman po sa Makati, sa SM North. We do have in Robinson's Galleria, Robinson's Manila, sa EBSA, Cavite, SM Santa Rosa, SM San Pablo, and of course, sa Mactan, SM Seaside Cebu, and SM City Cebu. Alright. Ayan. So, it is the end of... Um, the Kaiser 50 training. So if you have any questions and clarifications, message nyo lang po ako. Ayan, you can uh, reach me in Facebook. Ilalagay ko po ang link ng aking FB uh, dito po sa ating um, description para you can reach me uh, easier. Ayan. Thank you very much and I hope... Uh, you consider getting Kaiser Healthcare kasi napaka-importante na kapag tumanda na po tayo ay ready tayo. Kasi, di ba, um, sa ayaw at sa gusto natin, magkakasakit at magkakasakit tayo. So, better be prepared kesa maubos sa lahat ng, ng pinagtrabawuhan natin, pinag-ipunan natin ng napakatagal na panahon, especially din sa ating mga OFW. Di ba? Ang tagal natin sa abroad. Tapos, nang umuwi ka, may sakit ka na, naubos din yung um, ipon mo na napakatagal mong pinagtrabahuhan sa ibang bansa. Ayan. So, thank you very much and if you have any questions and clarifications, message lang po ako. Thank you very much. Please do like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Ulit. Ulit. <sighs> okay.